Hi guys, how are you doing? Oh, a minute. <laughs> so, what have I been doing? Mm -hmm. I forgot for a moment there. So, um, I haven't been to see my mum today, so I can't really update you on that. My sister's just said she's still the same, but they're just putting, giving, putting her on a drip. But no news of when she could get discharged. Now, if they hadn't said it to her yesterday, I don't think she'd have wanted to come home because she keeps going to my brother or whoever's visiting her. I want to go home and it, you'd feel so damn guilty. It's like a child asking the mum for a bag of sweets and you're saying, oh, my mum's, <laughs> my mum's 65 and she's no child. But that's, it's like a mind's changed to like a child, if you know what I mean. Well, you know, that's how it comes across when she's talking sometimes. But, one minute, I'm just in the middle of watching Dr. Phil. <laughs> Mum kicked me out at 15. Daughter is so ungrateful. <laughs> I love watching America, uh, stuff like that. It reminds me of Jerry Springer uh, or Jeremy Kyle, but better than Jeremy Kyle, to be honest. It makes me laugh, he does. Anyhow, I've been, oh, getting... Some keeps putting me, some must have borrowed my phone last night and put it on silent. So when I woke up this morning, about half ten, mm. <laughs> but I, I, I've been, I've not been sleeping great, so that's probably the reason why. I got up, sorted myself out, uh, did got Olivia's schoolwork ready for her, and I looked at my phone and I missed a load of phone calls. I'm like, sugar. Thankfully, I am, I got in time for the one from LGI. Now he's told me I've got to bring Olivia in a day early before her operation the day after. Um, and because she's going to need her bowels cleaned out before the operation. <laughs> Starting to panic a little bit. I know it's not happening to me, but it's happening to my daughter. But I know what she's like for medication, and if she finds that out, she will not want to go. She'd rather have the bag than take medication. So I'm not going to say that out to her until she's there. I've got just... I've had to get some new jammers. Um, and, and, well, I was getting little bits for Christmas, you know, like colouring book, colour pencils, and I got them. Ready for a birthday, really, because her birthday's up 1st of November. But I got this message about her operation, and I thought, well, I'm going to be in there for about a week. So she could take that, and I felt tips. And she'll have a phone. I'm trying to think what else. She can take some reading books, because she needs to start reading a bit better, a bit more than stuck on her phone. This is why I didn't want my daughter to have a phone until she was going into upper school. But they didn't listen to me, did they? So I thought they were being... Anyway, I'm not even going to get into that. So it's done, it's done. So I just thought I'd some lunch and some tea out, because I didn't get back to all after five o'clock because I would, I saw my CP oh my lord my kitchen <gasps> um, <sighs> yeah so I didn't get back till pretty late because I saw my CPN today at half past two we're there about an hour uh, I just sat down to, I just said to her I feel like an exhausted pigeon and I just can't, and that's what I feel like. I feel so exhausted this past week. I'd, like I said, because I email Samaritans a lot when I'm feeling a bit... I don't tend to go to first response as much anymore because they're, they're not the best. Um, where I can just rattle everything off via email on Samaritans, which is good. And then and I don't mind waiting then for 24 hours to, for a reply. So that's what I did last night. I rattled it all off. I said, I just feel like an exhausted pigeon. I don't know which way to go. My head is just... Da, 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 my, my mind is just talking. It's like, look, someone switched the radio on and everyone's talking all at once and interrupting. Well, I've got an habit of doing that, I'm afraid. But the only reason why I do that a lot is because I don't ever talk 
be rude is if I, I've got something to say, I need to say it there and then. If I don't, I forget. So, yeah. <laughs> but I, can't, I thought Olivia was going to have to wait about a year for this operation. So that's what we were told. Because uh, the backlog of COVID. So, yeah. I wasn't expecting it to be within a month. If I knew it was going to be like that, I'd have sent it to school. Because now she wants to go back to school. Because her mates are there, but she wants to go to a different school. Because all her friends have got going to that, that school. <sighs> so, I said. Right. We'll wait for... She's got to have this operation. And when she comes home, another six weeks. And then she gets called back in for the hair button. Which is her last surgery, hopefully. Unless... Oh, you know, this is where my mind goes, what she gets an infection, what she does this, what happens. Oh, your mind just plays, plays with you, doesn't it? So, <laughs> oh, I like to say to CPN, I don't know whether I could take the tablets. She goes, no, you need to take them. I said, yeah, but what if I take them and I'm, I'm out of account and someone goes, well, that's what the nurses are there for. I said, yeah, but I don't think I'm being a lazy mum. Is that thunder? Oh no, some kids are too stupid outside. I said, yeah, but I don't want them thinking I'm lazy and I don't look after my kid because that's, that's all I seem to do at the moment. Because my daughter reminds me of Kevin and Perry. You know, Kevin, oh, I'm not going to five. That's what Olivia's a bit like. But she doesn't, she doesn't do nothing of, <laughs> unless it, she's after something. And then she'll start doing jobs around the house and I know what you're after. But yeah. I'm getting a bit nervous for her. Not, I am nervous for myself, but I'm not more nervous for Olivia because she doesn't like needles. She doesn't like blood. And, I mean, I don't like needles, but I just put up with it anyway. So, yeah. <laughs> and then, on Friday, this Friday, I've got to go and get my bloods taken <laughs> for a review for my liver, my the other one thyroid uh and a few other things i think it is and then i've got, got to have an ecg at the same time <sighs> so it's uh, if i look up like that it's because i'm getting messages at the same time as trying to talk and it's always when i'm trying to do a video someone goes hmm let's message Kath at this time because she's going to be busy doing a video and i just let my lips tickle have you ever done that when you're mm? and you, you your lips are all over. Yeah. So, that's all really that I've been doing. I had a good chat with me, CPN, just saying how, how tired I've been and I feel like I'm mentally drained. But I feel like I can keep, just about keeping me head above water, but I feel like I'm drowning at the same time. Do you, do you understand what I mean? It's like I don't deal, since I've had that breakdown back in 2000 and... 20 back under that I just can't deal with stress as I used to be I used to be able to mm, just about manage it but now it's like nah breakdown and then just emotions take over but like I said to me some earlier because he was talking about his medication because he has he has something different to me but I feel like medication makes you numb that you can't cry and then people think you're being disrespectful of them because you've got no emotion. It's like, I can't help it. That kid outside. I'm joking, I'm joking. The kids are screaming about at this time of night. It's like, oh, please, I just need to get a piece of quiet. I've got a banging headache. Um, so, yeah, like, I, like I said to my nurse, I said, you know what? I just feel so dread. And I can feel a flare up coming. On for my fibro, I hate it. I don't like it because just anyone wants it. <laughs> so I can, and I said I don't need this right now when I'm due to go and support Olivia. And it always hits me when I'm stressed, so I get it more. Hello, baby. Sorry. I always have to. Put, sorry, I don't mean to yawn. It's just that <laughs> I get tired. 
when I start talking a lot, I start yawning a lot. So I was on my way home from my appointment and I called into Hasda because my mum needs another set of dramas. But I'm like, what size do I get her? Because she's like a skinny, skinny, skinny mini. She's a extra small. She wears six stone. She's, you know, she's... Every time I go, I think make sure she eats. So tomorrow I said I'd take her some fish and chips up for her tea. Not that horrible. I'm not kidding. The food that she's been given is it looks even I won't touch it. And I'm not looking forward to this hospital stay with Olivia because of the food. <laughs> and it's gonna cost me. I'm like kids I can't don't ask to borrow anything, do not ask for anything because it's gonna cost me probably a tenner a day for a cup of tea and a blooming blue moon and muffin. <laughs> and I I think last time she had an operation, they let me go home a night so I could catch up on some sleep and then I went back the next day. But because of COVID, I don't know because I've not, we've not been there. It's all the way in Leeds as well and I don't live in Leeds. So it's going to be a bum to get home and it's like a fiver. Fiver, over a fiver for a bus ticket. That's like a daily ticket. So you can imagine how much it's going to cost me and then if, she gets sent home, it's a taxi. That's going to be about 40 quid from Bradford. No, from Leeds to Bradford. <sighs> but luckily, I'm hoping like I did last time. Because she's been in a few days, she might be okay to go in public transport. I'll see how long the taxi when I get outside and then walk down and get a taxi. Cause, no, no taxi. Mm. A bus. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So I'm not going to take her many clothes. I think I'll just take her what she's wearing and then probably a few jammers. So because obviously she's not going to be wanting to be touched or nothing because your belly is going to be the very, it's going to be a tender area. You need to get the, uh, any followers that have just started following me because I've seen a few more pop up. Thank you. Um, my daughter is 11, she has a stoma bag and has had that since 2017 due to chronic constipation. My fear is, right, that she has this bag removed uh, soon and she'll get this ace button and then I feel like she's going to go backwards. I'm trying to stay positive. Oh, sorry, I forgot about dinner. I'm trying to stay positive. Oh, what, Anna! And his cats. I thought I, thought I stopped the video then I was back off. Flipping heck. Um, oh, just chicken on dinner. Uh, everyone goes, when smoke alarm look goes off, then that's when dinner's ready. That's what we all try to wind me up with. But <laughs> actually, I got that cooker. When did I get it delivered now? 31st of August, I think. Doing me pretty well. It's taken me a while to get to to know how to use the oven because you've got to press one button and you've got to press that and then that. You're like, what the heck? <laughs> Anyhow, I was gonna say something to you before I pause because I had to shout at Anna to get a blooming cats out because they want my pee everywhere and I bet they're wandering out out the hallway again. You can't be trusted. Here you babies. So. That's not a scratch pole. I've got a scratch pole and I insist on using my material sofa as a scratching pole. Little menaces. And once Olivia is out of the hospital, they're going for the snip. They need to go out. Anyhow, guys, so that's all what I've got to say at the minute. I'm just a bit here. I feel like I'm a bit there, a bit there, a bit there, and I'm just getting dragged all over the place, and I'm physically, what are you doing, Ronnie? Ronnie! <sighs> Please give me strength. <laughs> so, Dickens! But, yeah. So, I'm going to go, because I don't want to burn their tea, and then I'm just going to get whinged at. Um, I did order them a KFC earlier, and it didn't turn up, just because it looked different, and that they wouldn't, 
and someone ate it because I ordered the wrong one. But I didn't mean to do it. I just started what I thought would suit all three of them from KFC. But because I was at the appointment, but you know, oh, eh. Ronnie, Ronnie. Ow, what's that for? <laughs> Try to bite my finger. I'm like, you know, that's not. Here, baby. Come and say hello to everybody. Hello. This is Ronnie. Yeah. Little black panther, aren't you? You're a panther. He's purring. He saw himself then he's like, who's that on my camera? Anyway, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you because I need to go and sort it around. And it's nearly seven o'clock. Oh, it is quarter past seven. <gasps> I was meant to make a spaghetti ball and this night and meatballs, but when I got back, it, I was just travelling on t so many buses or so like that. Uh. So, yeah, I'm hoping that I do not have a break down because all the stress is what is affecting me and I'm scared. I don't want to be in that position that I was a few months, a, a few, about a year and a half ago because I've been out of hospital for a year now, which is good. A bit, I've got a good CPN, good support worker, and that's all really. But yeah, we'll see how it goes, guys. So if you like this video, pre please press like. I've got a cat. Look, excuse me, pop in the background. <laughs> I've got a good. Uh, what were I saying? Yeah, cats. Sorry. So if you like this video, pr please press like, subscribe, and press that notification button, and I will catch up with you tomorrow. Bye-bye, 99.